Hello everyone. This is Professor Gautam from Sai Vidya Institute of Technology. I welcome you all for today's session. In this session, I am going to discuss about module one of urban transportation planning. There, I am going to discuss about urbanization, effects of urbanization, and causes for urbanization. Let us start with the definition of urbanization. So. urbanization is nothing but migration of peoples from rural area to the cities or towns where they are already developed or it is developing see what happens is because of high facility provided in certain cities or certain areas generally the population which is located in the rural side they will migrate to the where the facilities are very good okay this migration leads to increase in the area where we had provided with high facility this increasing area with population you may term it as urbanization in general urbanization is defined as urbanization is the process whereby population move from rural to urban area enabling cities and towns to grow this is called as urbanization and this urbanization may leads to lot of problems okay or lot of effects on daily requirement and also on the transport network okay now let us see what are all the causes for the urbanization that means why people are migrating from other areas to the these areas where facilities are very good okay the reasons are very simple okay causes one is industrialization that means lot of industries are going growing in a city which may leads to lot of employment opportunities peoples who are searching for employment generally they are uh, migrating towards cities then commercialization that means if you take any industrialized area or any urbanized area it is a hub for all the business whatever business you are going to start if it is in a urbanized area definitely your capital investment will not waste okay that means usually urbanized areas will act as an high hub for the business in term commercialization okay that's why in the urbanized area you can see lot of uh, theaters lot of shopping complex lot of malls lot of hotels because of this urbanization and also because of the social benefits and services provided in the cities people are migrating towards uh, cities which will leads to urbanization as i already explained employment opportunities modernization and change in the mode of living okay that means all sophistications is available in cities not in the rural areas that's why people tend to move towards cities to get that uh, Modern, modernized things are sophisticated things then rural urban transformation okay and these are all the major causes for the urbanization and which is impacting on the transport network and also on the human daily life very much okay now we will see what are all the effects because of this urbanization okay now we will see effects of urbanization first one is pollution since more and more people are coming towards city definitely in order to travel for their daily needs either they are preferring public vehicle or private vehicle they are liberating lot of carbon dioxide and which in turn leads to air pollution and also they are making so much of noise and that may leads to noise pollution traffic congestion as you can observe bangalore uh, like cities like all metropolitan cities in india are facing its severe traffic congestion because of the urbanization because more and more peoples more and more number of vehicles which are coming onto the road it may leads to traffic congestion and very important urban sprawl what is this urban sprawl generally uh, let us take an example here initially the area of certain city will be only this much and it, here it is an employment hub area let me take lot of employment is available in this area let us take initially around 10 people are there in this area now what happens 
if another 10 people will come, we can't accommodate another 10 people in this area only. So what happens? This edge area is going to be developed like this. That means another 10 people are, uh, are started their living life here and their employment is available in this first circle only. Again, they need a transportation network to travel from outer edge of the city to the inner edge. Like this, there is an urban sprawl. That means growing of the city towards outer edge of the city. Okay, that means oh, generally if I call center of the city, okay, from the center, how much city is extending because of this urbanization? There is a sprawling of the city. That is called as urban sprawl. That means growing of the city to the edge of the city or to the edge area of the city. This is called as urban sprawl. As I gave, see here only 10 people are working initially. Another 10 people are came. We can't accommodate in this first circle. Therefore, they had moved to the second circle. Another 100 people came. Definitely, it is not possible to allot them to the first or second circle. We are allotting to the third circle. If another 1,000 people will come, definitely we should allot to the fourth circle. But their employments more are in the, in the first circle only. Correct, no? Therefore, they has to move to the inside the city. Because of this movement, there will be a heavy traffic congestion. And there may be in turn it will be affecting to the population. Okay. Therefore, urbanization leads to urban sprawl. That means extension of the city to the edge of the city. Center from the center it is extending to the edge. That is called as urban sprawl. This is also uh, one of the effect because of urbanization. And you can see there is a lot of accident. Definitely there is a lot of population. There is a lot of traffic movement on the roads, which may lead to accidents. Definitely we are facing a severe problem of parking. See, in the example what I had given, you can see here. Here, area is very less. Thousand people are coming here to work means, let me assume thousand vehicles are coming. Where you can going to provide a parking facility for this thousand number of vehicles in this small circle. Again, if you are working in the first circle and you are providing a parking facility in the second or third circle means, again, you need another transportation network to travel from second or uh, third circle to the first circle. Correct, no? Therefore, we are facing a huge parking facility where the urbanization is more and more. You, you can take an example of uh, metropolitan cities like Bangalore, Delhi. These cities are facing a heavy parking problem because of more and more urbanization. Okay you are working place somewhere near uh, inside the city, but inside the city parking place is not available. You have to park your vehicle away from your working place and you have to walk or you have to depend on some other mode to reach your working place. Okay, like this, we are having a lot of parking problem because of urbanization and definitely more population, we need more water and more sanitation uh, sanitation facilities generally it is provided inside the city as city is developing outer edge as city is moving to the outer edge you have to extend your facilities okay you have to extend your facility from first circle to the second circle to the third circle and to the last circle that means you, you have to keep on extending your facility either it may be water or sanitation definitely it is a huge problem okay to face because of urbanization then crowding of population, generally population will crowd to one circle, second circle, third circle. There is a more and more population coming into these areas, okay, which may lead crowding of population. Again, this crowding of population leads to, uh, leads to inadequate facility of the daily needs. Okay, that problem also we can face because of urbanization. And finally, housing problem because human beings, we can't sleep on the streets, correct, no? We need homes, more and population, we have to build a more and more structure, it may lead to housing problem, correct, no? More and more population, if more and more structures are not available, more and more buildings or rented house are not available in that particular area, again, it leads to housing problem. And these are all the few effects you can note it from the urbanization. So in this session, we discussed about definition of urbanization, what are all the reasons for the urbanization and what are all the effects of urbanization. Guys, I hope all of you understood today's class, our introduction of today's class. 
we will meet in the next class with another topic thank you guys